How to register for courses in WebAdvisor. What you will do is go to cccc.edu, which pulls up our main website, which you can see in the screen. What you'll do is go up to the WebAdvisor icon over in the right hand um, corner, which is the little cougar with a magnifying glass. So you see his WebAdvisor. So what you'll do is click on this, and it may take you a minute to load. And this is the WebAdvisor screen. And what you'll do is you're going to log in. So you can go up here to the very top or to the bottom and click login. Your login is going to be the first initial of your first name, the last four, the first four of your last name, and the last three of your student ID, and then your password. This brings you up into the main WebAdvisor menu, and you see um, your name. Um, show, so that shows that you are logged in and you'll also see current students highlighted and that's the only um, option for you that's highlighted so what you'll do is go over here and select current students this brings you to the current uh, student web advisor menu and what you'll do is go over here to registration and register for sections is the third menu which is probably the best one for you And this brings you to a submenu where you can search and register for sections, do express registration, register for previously selected sections, drop sections, and we don't use waitlisting at this time. So I'm going to do search and register for sections, which is the very first option. And what happens here is it brings you to the search and register for sections menu. And what you're going to do is you're going to choose a term. So I'm going to choose fall of 2010. And if you want to make it more specific, um, if you want to look for certain subjects, you can. Like if I wanted to look for a CIS course, or if you just kept it wide open, you would pull up the whole schedule, which would probably take a little bit. I'm going to look for a CIS course. So I'm going to type in CIS, and it's going to show me all the courses. You can also look, if you keep going down, you can look for courses beginning after a certain time or um, ending before a certain time, certain days of the week. If you're looking for a campus location, you can choose it. So if you only want distance ed, you can choose distance ed. Or if you only want to take courses on um, the Sanford campus, you can choose that. And then after you've selected everything, um, click submit. Remember, the more wide open you leave it, the more choices you're going to get. So it's pulled up the sections um, selection results screen and you can see um, the courses that are currently for the CIS 110 courses and if you look over here the very first one you can see available in capacity so there's 21 seats out of 24 for the CIS 110 H01 course so I'm gonna register for this course so what I'm gonna do is go over here and the select box I'm gonna put a check mark and what happens is if you can have multiple courses out there, so you can go out there and select all the different courses, so I can go out there and have business courses, select the course that I want, and just keep going from there. And I'm going to go down to the very bottom and click Submit. And what it does is it brings you up into the register and drop sections. This works exactly like if you've ever done any online shopping, you put things into the shopping cart and then you kind of have that last minute decision to make. So this is what the action is. So if you notice, I have CIS 110 here. And what I'm going to do is I can remove it from my list or register. So I'm going to go select register. And the rest of these are cor old courses I've built and never re registered for. So uh, I've select register. I'm going to go down to the very bottom and click Submit. And you get a registration results screen and it says Fall 2010, I've been registered for CIS 110 H01. And if you keep going down, you'll see your whole class schedule. And this, you can keep on registering for many courses that you need. Um, if you're done, press OK and it takes you back to the main menu. I'm going to select current students and then I'm going to select my class schedule just to confirm. 
I um, am registered, so I'm going to select fall, and you see I'm registered for CIS 110. That is registering yourself in WebAdvisor.